Hello kindergarten. Here we have another informational text. It is called Red Eyes or Blue Feathers. It says a book about animal colors. So that gives you a hint about what the story is going to be about. And it shows you a picture. So what do you think about animal colors that this book is going to teach us? What kind of things might it teach us about animal colors? Because an informational text is made to teach you things, um, real life things. It's not made up. It's a real life story. It's nonfiction. This is by Patricia M. Stockland, illustrated by Todd Aurin. So Patricia did the words. She's the author. Todd did the pictures. He's the illustrator. What do you think it could be teaching us about animal colors? Since it's a nonfiction story, we're going to do the flower chart because remember we put a detail on each petal and all of those details, we put them together to figure out what's the big idea, the main idea it wants to teach you. Use all these details to figure out what does this story, what did this author want to teach us? And we know it's going to be about animal colors, something about animal colors. Let us see. Oh, here's the first animal. It is a red-eyed tree frog. Red-eyed tree frog. Bright red eyes shine in the night. The red-eyed tree frog is wide awake. During the day, this tiny frog hides its bright colors by closing its eyes and tucking up its legs. The red-eyed tree frog's shiny green back blends in with the, tr the trees. Predators think the little frog is a leaf. The vertical pupils of the red-eyed tree frog help it see better at night. Daytime frogs usually have horizontal pupils. So you see where it says the pupils go up and down? That helps it see better at night. So why do you think he would close his eyes and tuck his feet underneath him? Because if he hides those colors, he blends into the leaf to keep predators from seeing him. Predator is something that might want to eat him. So if he tucks up his feet and closes his eyes, they can't see him. Oh, let's see. Polar bear, look at him. Polar bear. White fur surrounds a shiny black nose. A polar bear slowly lumbers across the snow. The polar bear's snow-colored coat blends in with the arctic tundra. Its favorite treat is seal blubber. As the bear sits on the edge of the ice, a seal comes up for air. The seal doesn't see the giant paw grabbing for it. Grrr. Polar bears are not actually white. Their fur is transparent or clear. Light reflects off it and makes it appear white or yellowish. So what does the color of a polar bear do to help it? Helps it blend in so it can hunt easier. Polar bears have to hunt to be able to eat and survive. Ooh, there's a red fox. A red fox. Rusty colored fur rustles through the woods. A red fox follows a scent. This small fox finds food in many places. Its red coat and dark tail help it blend in with plants and trees. Neither predators nor prey can see the sly fox. Being able to hide so well helps this animal live and survive in many different places. The red fox will eat almost anything, including insects, fruit, and leftover food from people's garbage cans. So it says the color of the fox helps it blend in. Maybe, maybe it blends in with like brown grass and like the trees maybe. But it helps it blend in so it can hide from predators and prey. Prey is, is the thing that a predator wants to eat. So if an animal goes to hunt for something, whatever it's hunting for is the prey. Ooh, we need to do some 
details. I almost forgot what we were doing. Okay, so frogs blend in. Ooh, frogs blend in to hide from predators. Predators. Wow, that was a long word. Um, polar bears blend in to hunt. Okay. Foxes hide and blend in. Oops, I didn't make a space there. Blend in to hunt. And all of that is what their colors are doing for them, right? Their colors are helping them blend in to hide from predators, to hide from prey, to hide from both. Okay, let's say seahorse. Ooh, there's the seahorse. Ooh, I can already see what its color is helping it do. Mmm. Yellow, green, brown, and brown seaweed swishes in the shallow sea. A small seahorse swishes in the seaweed, too. The seahorse is a slow swimmer. Its yellow-brown armor helps it blend in with the seaweed. Larger fish can't see the seahorse hiding. The seahorse can quickly change color to blend in better with its surroundings. It also changes color when it mates. So there's something I heard that the seahorse does that none of those other animals have done yet to help it with its color, to help it blend in. It can change color. Yeah, it can change color. I want to put that. That seems like an important detail. Seahorses can change color to blend in. Mm. Can you think of any other animals that can change color to blend in? Oh, here is a killer whale or an orca. <clears throat> a huge black and white animal glides through the water. The killer whale is ready to attack. This ocean mammal is a smart hunter. Black and white markings help this large animal hide. From below, its white belly looks like sunlight. From above, its black back becomes part of the ocean's shadows. Killer whales use a lot of hunting tricks. Some swim under chunks of ice and tip them. Resting seals slide right into the water. So that's another animal whose colors help it blend in so it can hunt. White with the sunlight and black with the dark ocean. Ooh, look at macaw. Macaw. A red, red, blue, yellow, and green feathers float in the air. A colorful macaw, macaw lands in the trees. Macaws are some of the brightest birds around. The fancy colors fit well in their rainforest homes. These bold colors help the parrots blend into their surroundings. The white skin around a macaw's beak will turn red if the bird is excited or angry. So that one's another one that blends in to hide from predators. Ooh, here we go. Black rhinoceros. A big booming tank stomps down the hill. The black rhino is on its way to the watering hole. This giant creature isn't really black. It is actually gray. Rhinos like to cool off by getting dirty, but the mud also makes them look darker. A nice mud bath makes the hot African sun easier to handle. The dried mud on a rhino's skin also protects the animal from pesky flies. So some animals, some 
animals. Color is actually different than it looks. Okay, hmm. well, let's see. Ooh, that's a pretty colored bug. Jewel beetle. A shiny blue and gold shell shimmers in the sun. A jewel beetle sparkles on a flower. This bright beetle looks pretty enough to wear, but don't be fooled. It uses the dazzling color as a disguise. Predators think this tasty creature is part of the plant. Jewel beetles also use their bright colors to find mates. So it said that this beetle is what? Tasty. So if it's tasty, it's going to want to hide even more, isn't it? And what? how can it hide? What helps it hide? Its color makes it blend into a flower. Yeah. Ooh, here's that one I was thinking of about color changing. Do you remember what it's called? A chameleon. Green skin turns yellow and then turns to red instead. The changing chameleon rests on a rock. A chameleon's cha shade changes depending on its mood and temperature. It uses this clever color code to show how it feels. Color is one way chameleons communicate. Many people think chameleons can change any color, but they can't. Their colors do include black, white, blue, green, red, and yellow. So they use their color to communicate how they're feeling. That seems like an interesting detail. I think we're going to write that one down. Chameleons. Chameleons communicate feelings with color. Okay, wouldn't that be neat if we could do that? Like if I was feeling really sad, maybe I'd just turn blue. Or if I was starting to get really angry, my face might turn red. Or if I was really happy, I might turn purple or yellow, some bright color. And then we would all know how everybody was feeling. <laughs> that would be fun, sometimes. <laughs> So here's our details. Frogs blend in to hide from predators. Polar, oh, I forgot bears. Polar bears blend in to hunt. Foxes hide and blend in to hunt. Oh, they hide from predators and blend in to hunt. So they're hiding from prey and predators. Seahorses can change colors to blend in. Some animals' color is actually different than it looks. And chameleons communicate feelings with color. So what do you think the main idea of the story is? What do they want to teach you with this informational text? I think the main idea that I got from it is that animals' colors help them survive. That means stay alive. Animals' colors help them survive. What did you think the main idea was? Very nice. Have an awesome day.